Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to create this very dotty liner here. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna start with is I'm gonna use my Smashbox 24 hour photo finish shadow primer. I'm gonna use my handy little uh, Kat Von D uh, paw palette here. And I'm gonna apply this to the eyes. I'm using a Sigma 3D HD precision brush, this little guy right here. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a light shade from the Violet Voss Matte About You palette. I'm going to do um, the color Sweetheart. I'm, I'm actually going to do a mixture of the colors Sweetheart and Infatuation. And this is an Anastasia A10 brush. So just a mixture of those two guys. And I'm just going to apply this along my brow bone here. Just until where it meets the crease. Um, I'm not gonna apply this all over just because I like the stickiness of the uh, eye primer that I put down to adhere the eyeshadow really well in the way that it will, <laughs> how do I say this? I feel like <laughs> the stickiness of the base that I put on just makes the eyeshadow appear brighter when I put it on. If I base my entire lid with powder, powder sticks to powder, um, powder doesn't stick to powder as easily as powder sticks to something sticky so by using the stickier base I'm able to have more intensity from the shadows that I put on my lid and my crease and then since I want less intensity I'm always gonna want a little bit more of a uh, fade as I start to work towards the brow bone then I put a little bit of a light shade here and just kind of help to create that uh, fade of intensity with the bases that I have. The, f the farther up you go, the more powder you'll have, therefore less intensity. And that was probably the most wordy way to describe that ever. Alrighty, next step. I'm gonna use a Smith Cosmetics 235 brush here, and I'm gonna blend a color through the crease. I'm gonna do something just kind of basic. So I'm gonna use the color Smitten, Bleh. that one right there. Um, and we're just gonna take this lightly through the crease. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the lid now. I'm just gonna take this one color through the crease because the focus of this look is definitely gonna be the liner. Um, so next I'm gonna use the color Mad Love, which is this one right here. And I'm gonna use a Smith 253 to apply that. And this is just gonna go all over the lid. I'm gonna blend that color Mad Love all under my lower lash line as well, and I'm just gonna use the same brush to do that. Let me pull my mirror up nice and high. All right, so next I'm going to add just a pretty standard wing liner. I'm gonna start with the wing liner, and then I'm going to elaborate from there. I'm using the Balm Schwing Liquid Liner. And then um, when it comes to doing liquid, uh, I'm sorry, wing liner, I always start with the wing first. Reason why is when you're doing the liner on the lid, if you start with the liner on the lid, it's going to dictate how thick the wing needs to be. So if you are intending to have a smaller wing liner, uh, it's typically easier to start with the wing, at least for me. It's easier for me to start with the wing portion first and then move across the lid and then I can thicken it up from there. I have a little bit more control when I work that way. Um, so I'm gonna just start with the wing part. So now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna start to create the uh, embellishments kind of to the liner that I want. And I'm gonna be dotting around my liner and kind of the aesthetic that I'm going for, or at least that I'm thinking, is um, I want it to kind of look like my liner is a very dense cluster of dots that then kind of like trickle off and fade uh, towards my lower lash line and also upward. So 
that's just kind of like my thought process right now if that helps at all <laughs> um so hopefully that actually makes sense once i'm done so i'm again going to use the schwing liquid liner from the balm and i'm going to use this little nail dotting tool which is a million years old but it's just gonna help me to create um, more even dots. I actually don't really use this often. Usually I just do dots with uh, whatever liquid liner I'm using, but um, right now, because I want the dots, I, I don't wanna have to, I'm doing so many of them, I don't wanna have to spend so much time making each individual one perfect. So I'm just going to use this little tool and I'm gonna have a deposit of liner on my paw palette here and I'll just pick up from there. I am back from adding a billion dots on my face so hopefully what I had explained of like kind of like my concept of what the, the direction of the dots was gonna be makes sense where it's more heavily clustered at the liner here and then they just kind of like fade out smaller and um, I wasn't really planning on doing anything on the inner corner and then as I usually do with dots I got carried away so I kind of added a little to the inner corners as well I had a breakout right here that I've covered with a little cluster of dots as well so that was super helpful um, so now I'm just gonna continue to finish off the look a little bit and I'm gonna add lashes right now and I'm gonna add the Mademoiselle lashes in the style Tina this is what they look like right here they're really pretty and fluffy so I'm going to add those okay so the last thing I'm gonna do is my lips and I'm going to be using I'm gonna start first with lining my lips and I'm gonna use plum lip pencil from Mac of myself and put on my lipstick before I told you what I was going to be putting on uh, but it was the MAC retro matte liquid lip color in the color so me uh, so yeah this is going to complete my look uh, so thank you guys so much for watching continue to give me suggestions for any of the things that you want to see me create uh, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time